So what's up guys, Xenogrid here back again with another video. Now my initial idea for this video was to make why Xbox Game Pass actually sucks in 2023, which it kinda does at this point. But then I saw that there's gonna be a Xbox showcase event. So I thought, well, before I make the video on Game Pass, I should check out the showcase event to see what they bring to the table. And I really gotta say, it completely blew my mind. So many new games, so many awesome exclusives, and most importantly, so many games that are gonna be available on Game Pass day one. Let's be real, nobody expected Xbox is gonna come with this many bangers this time because there's like 20 to 24 games that have been revealed and most of them are totally outstanding. I mean, for the last couple of years, Xbox haven't been having great exclusives and their games have just been kinda like meh. Like on one hand, there's PlayStation which is getting games like God of War, Spider-Man, while on the other hand, Xbox isn't really getting really good games. Like we have Redfall, Atomic Heart, like let's be real, they weren't that great to be honest. And in the last couple of months, Xbox Game Pass haven't been getting great AAA titles either. Most of the games that are coming to Game Pass nowadays aren't that great to be honest, and most of the good games in the Game Pass have been there for a while, and some of them are actually leaving at this point. Now let's talk about some of the games that have been announced in the Xbox Showcase event, starting with the elephant in the room, Starfield. The first gameplay reveal of Starfield was shown almost a year ago, but at that time the gameplay wasn't that great, especially because the game was in beta stage, the graphics quality was alright and overall it was just a, like a typical game. But this time the reveal was absolutely mind blowing. The gameplay seemed great, the graphics was amazing, and how huge the scale and the detail is is just totally mind blowing. There's huge planets that you can explore and they also seem pretty lively. There's vegetation, there's wreckage sites, there's cities to explore, and the intergalactic combat system, that's just totally amazing. Like I really gotta say, if Bethesda doesn't mess up anything in this game, this is gonna be one of the biggest games of all time. Now one thing that did take a hit is the FPS. The game will run at maximum 30 FPS, which some people may not like. I mean, the game is huge and they wanna have the most amount of graphics control at 4K. So that's actually alright, I mean that's fair to say, but having an option to go between 60 or 30 is always great. The next game that we have is Fable. Fable is one of the big Xbox exclusives out there and it's connected with so many people's memories. So a new Fable game definitely took everyone by surprise. Now from the trailer I didn't really understand much and it seemed more like a graphical trailer because the graphics of the trailer I mean it seemed like a real life show. So I gotta say if the game I mean if the gameplay graphics is gonna be like that it's gonna be really good. Now as I've said I didn't really understand much from the trailer so a gameplay reveal will be coming out soon I hope and that's gonna tell a lot about the game. Now with that being said I actually wanna start a new series. So you see there's game series like Fable, Hellblade, Assassin's Creed, Prince of Persia that are coming with new games and I haven't played a lot of the older ones. So I thought I'm gonna play all of the older games and start making gameplay videos on them. Let me know what you guys think about that and if you are interested in that. Now with that being said, if you are enjoying this video and you are finding this video informative, please subscribe to the channel, it will mean a lot to me. Now since we are talking about game series, Hellblade is gonna get a new game to its sequel, Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga. If you have never played Hellblade, you definitely should try the game. It's so different from any other horror or any other action adventure game you've played. Especially because of the auditory hallucination of this game, that's so unique to this. And well, Hellblade 2 still keeps that uniqueness to it. And it's really exciting to see what the upcoming game brings in the future. To be honest, I did play the first game but I never finished it. I might as well play that in the upcoming game series. Next game we have on the list is a bit different from all the AAA titles you're used to seeing. This game reminds me a lot about Hades. It's a 2D co-op roguelike game where 33 players can play together. Well, it's 33 immortals. Like imagine playing a co-op game with 30 players. That's gonna be hacking amazing if the game actually gets popular. Now games like this do tend to fall off because of lack of players, not everyone having good internet connection, and there's actually a lot of things that can go wrong and you have to worry about, especially when there's this many people playing together. But since the game is gonna be available on day one on Game Pass, I have high hopes for this and I hope a lot of people does play this game, because I'm really stoked to play this because Hades was one of my favorite games. So I'm gonna say that this game does look quite fun, and well, good luck on the, like, release I guess. 
Then we have a new addition to the Star Wars sequel, Star Wars Outlaw. Well, if you're a Star Wars fan, I'm sure you're gonna love this game. The graphics of the game totally looked insane and the game is gonna be a stealth focused open world game. There's gonna be a lot to explore and enjoy through, especially it's because it's like an intergalactic game. So there's gonna be new planets that you can explore. The game will be available for all next gen consoles and PC. Since the game is by Ubisoft, I really hope they don't do anything like what they did to Valhalla just to make the game big. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, well the thing in Valhalla is that the game has a huge open world but the quests were very repetitive. You are like you have to do the same thing over and over in just different locations. I really hope they don't do anything like that to this game just to make the game huge. Now from the gameplay trailer I gotta say that this game actually has high potential. In the list we have an action RPG which seemed quite similar to Skyrim. Well you guessed it I'm talking about Avowed. From the trailer we get to see a game that has medieval type combat with magical abilities. Now one thing I would have liked if the game was in third person, personally I am not a huge fan of first person hack and slash games. But the game looks quite nice with a touch of classic fantasy gameplay. One game I cannot not talk about is the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Microsoft Flight Simulator is one of the if not the best flight simulator game out there. The new simulator game is designed to take the advantage of new technologies in simulation cloud, machine learning, graphics and so much more to create the most immersive flight experience that you can have. And there's so many realistic events that are gonna occur in the game which makes it worthwhile. The game will be available on day one in Xbox Game Pass and will be available for both PC and Xbox. No Xbox game reveal is complete without a Forza game. Well this time we have Forza Motorsport. For all of you racing game lovers out there, this might be your next favorite game. And from what we can see, the graphics is super realistic and I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be the new benchmark racing game. To be honest, there is a lot of game that was announced in the showcase event that shows really high potential. It's gonna take ages if I am gonna go through all of them, so I'd recommend you watch the whole event yourself or check out the highlights. And these games are reason why I think Xbox is finally gonna redeem themselves. Now one other thing that I cannot not talk about is the upgraded Xbox Series S. Now if you watched my review on Xbox Series S, you'll know that I hated the 512GB storage. Well guess what, they fixed that. They have a new black Xbox Series S which comes with 1TB of storage. Now really wish I actually bought that one and well, I really hope they bring with something that's gonna upgrade the older ones for cheap. And well, this was it for today, see you guys in the next video.